Hello everyone, my name is Michael Freeman and I present to you a golf swing movement analysis with emphasis on weight distribution. In this presentation, I will explain what is needed to prepare for a golf swing, how to execute the swing and the distribution of weight transfer, and finally to explain some motor control behavior that is present during this movement. As a short clip to demonstrate poor technique in both swing and distribution, here we see Charles Barkley, former NBA player for those 76ers, Suns, and Rockets, trying his absolute best in driving a golf ball off the tee. A brief introduction to what golf is, this is a sport that requires players to hold club-like instruments in order to drive a golf ball down the course and into the designated hole. To play golf, players need to understand that the swing, body alignment, weight distribution, and foot placement is needed to be perfect to hit the ball. Golf requires players to focus on their timing, work on their skill, and keep up their endurance. When we shift our weight, we are able to create more force from the club to the ball leading to a better drive. In the next clip, we can see the weight distribution off. When the right hip goes back, we should see a grounded foot even though most of the weight will be found on the heel. As we come back to the front, the left rotating hip causes the weight from the heel to shift upwards to the leading toe. In our follow through, our swing should return us back into a full balance position with all the weight in the left foot. As you can see, I stumble just enough to throw off my balance and make a poor shot. The golf swing, which demands constant practice, also needs constant coordination of the feet, lower body, upper body, arms, hands, and the head. In making a proper swing, as said previously, one must transfer their body weight from side to side and create a consistent rhythmic motion. So, without the use of our swing, we cannot understand weight distribution. In our upswing, the lower body will shift the body's weight to the right foot, and then in our downswing and our follow-through, the lower body will shift the body's weight to the left foot, and vice versa if you are left-handed. In regards to weight distribution, stability and balance are the most important standards in a perfect swing. For a good swing, the feet are to rock left and right only. If they sway forward and backward, it may influence the swing and cause a poor shot. To continue our discussion about weight distribution, let's talk about the transfer of weight. A shift in weight and active trunk rotation can play a very critical role in the optimization of club head velocity. The center of mass in a golfer actually moves in a vertical direction during the swing phases. Since the center of mass shifts toward the lead foot and then by the trailing foot, the motion of the pelvis maintains balance. According to the study, trunk rotation and weight transfer patterns between skilled and non-skilled players, an upswing of amateur golfers leaning to the left side of the body is evident. In the downswing phase, it gets smaller by the ball impact. In skilled golfers, however, there is less of an angle of the pelvis on the left side of the body. This gives them an early downswing and slight sway with their lead foot. Although not as intense in external stimuli as other sports like football or baseball, golfers still need to follow the processing model in order to analyze their environment for obstacles, decide how hard or what angle the shot must be taken, and create a strategy on how to get the least amount of strokes on a hole. This in turn allows their reaction time to aid the prediction process of what shot should be done at what time. Attention through focus and arousal are key factors to what the athlete may be thinking when performing their skill. Golfers using internal focus work on their actions while external focus looks at the effects of their movement. This may cause either a positive or negative situation in regards to arousal. With arousal, an optimal level of performance to stress can create the best outcome through relevant cues. If we increase our arousal, however, Golfers may experience choking under pressure. In most instances, as a golfer gets closer the, to the hole, the pressure increases and may cause the players to miss their shot entirely. On a final note, closed and open loops of control can both benefit and become a detriment to a golfer's swing and their distribution to the weight transfer. In closed loop controls, the advantage is precise control and learning new skills. The disadvantage is that it's low and requires full attention. In open loops of control, the advantage is that they are fast and, work and requires no attention, but the disadvantage is that people mis make mistakes that happen and cannot be adjusted, they require practice, and new situations cannot be conducted. However, golf takes time to learn. It requires a high amount of skill to play the game. When starting to play, players take their time to practice and get used to the club and the sport itself. By starting off as a closed loop of control, golfers and other athletes consider their sport to become second nature, becoming autonomous as time goes on. In conclusion, thank you for listening to my presentation on the golf swing movement analysis with emphasis to weight distribution.